If you follow these training principles, Mr. Bond, you will get gains. I guarantee it. Welcome back to Self Built. Today is a very fun video for you. I'm gonna show you some very simple and basic ways that you can get stronger in any lift or exercise that you're wanting to get better in. This is extremely important to beginner lifters because you kind of don't know where to start. There's so many different avenues of intensity training and setup routines that sometimes it can be kind of hard to figure out where to start. This is a great way to start basics. And if you're a intermediate or advanced, it's always nice to get a refresher on just the basics. What this is gonna be talking about today is progressive training. I'm gonna be showing you today of how I am getting stronger on dips through progressive overload and priority training. Those two are a bread and butter of what is your goal? Why are you in the gym? Do you wanna get stronger on bench, deadlift, squat, or just overall? What is it that you want to do? This will help you build that foundation of getting there. I'll give you some great tips and tricks along the way, so let's jump into this. Here's my beautiful dip station. First thing I'm gonna do are two warm-up sets. Warm-ups are so important for so many reasons. You wanna make sure that the movement feels good for your body, that you're not overloading your central nervous system, and that you're gradually getting up into weight. If you jump the gun and do like your working weight or a max weight, besides the injury aspect, you're gonna screw your strength. It's not gonna, it's just not gonna be there. You gotta work your way up to it if you wanna get maximum performance. I can do body weight dips, but I like to warm up really gradually. I've got two different power bands that I'm just gonna use for my first warm up set. I'm just gonna do somewhere between like 10 to 20 reps. I mean, this really takes off quite a bit of body weight. What I'm usually going for is just getting blood moving and seeing how my joints feel, how the muscles feel, and if it's feeling like it's a good exercise today, which so far feels pretty good. My current goal today is to be able to do four sets of 27 dips. Last time I did this, I got 26, so I'm just adding one additional rep every single time. It's a total of four extra dips each working set. So that is a way you can add progressive load. If you're doing the same amount of weight, Progressive load doesn't have to be more weight. You can be doing the same weight with more reps, or you can do more weight with less reps or the same reps. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You'll quickly find out as you're increasing and challenging your body that it's gonna adapt. It's gonna be forced to get stronger, get bigger, and to be able to get you towards the goals that you're going for. Going back to prioritizing what you wanna do in the gym, right now, my goal is to be able to get more dips. And how I do that is I do dips when I'm fresh and my first thing I'm gonna do on chest. That way you have the most strength, the most energy, and you're able to have the best performance. And then after I finish the exercise, I'll do a couple accessory movements, which will just complement that same area. These principles can be applied to anything that you're doing. It doesn't have to be dips, it can be squats, it can be overhead press, it can be curls, whatever you wanna do. This is a great roadmap to be able to get you to your goal. After a short resting period, I'm just gonna take off one band, so that way I'm a little bit heavier on this next one, which is just the second warm up. Haven't been in a hoodie for a minute. Since it's winter, it's nice to keep the body warm a little bit. <laughs> I just enjoy having a little bit of a cover to keep everything all warm for a minute, and then once I get all warmed up, then it's time to take off the pump cover. Still not going too crazy on the reps. Don't want to get any burning yet because next set is going to be the working. If you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced lifter, it's important to have goals and something to work towards in the gym. Makes it so much more fun. Some of my more recent goals that I've really gone for was pull-ups was one huge one where I was trying to see how much weight I could do with pull-ups. I had another one where how many reps of pull-ups I could do. Before that, it was all about incline dumbbell press of how many times I could rep my 90s. So there's really no limit. You can just set whatever goals that you wanna do. It gives you something to think about and something that just makes it exciting to really see progression. It's not a bad idea to journal your complete workout. Personally, for me, I just find that's too distracting. So I'll just pick one small thing and shoot for that and be obsessed with it for a while till I obtain my goal. I have steps to my goal, but right now I wanna be able to do four sets of 30 reps on dips and then also be able to do 50 dips in a row. 
So those are just my goals for now. And then I'll increase it more and more because I'm pretty close within striking distance on the 30. We'll see how this next set goes. All right, it's working set time. I'm just gonna be putting some wrist straps because for me, it makes dips more comfortable. Surprisingly, wrapping my wrist makes my elbows feel more comfortable. It's probably because I'm not squeezing as hard with my hands. Either way, it makes it feel better and it doesn't take away from doing chest. So if there's anything that you guys need as far as equipment, knee wraps, elbow wraps, or a squat belt, hey, don't forget to take care of your joints, take care of your body so you can keep doing the thing that you love. For the longest time, I was like, eh, that's for weak people, I don't care. But I mean, after you get injuries, nagging pains, and they don't really go away, your mindset will change a little bit. So be smarter than I was, take care of yourself and let your body fully recover. These reps, they're not gonna be like super clean, but they're not gonna be garbage either. My typical train style is all gonna go down super slow. This, it's not gonna be so much. I'm mostly having fun with these, just trying to crank out reps. Gonna go for 27. See how we feel here. Feel it out and have some fun. I think that was 27. You guys got me all nervous. I might've lost count. <laughs> Cross my fingers that it is, but that felt good, felt solid. Wasn't until like the last four reps that fatigue was starting to kick in. So we'll see how the next three go. I went back and watched. It was technically 27 if you count my initial push up as a rep. So that's kind of like a 50-50. I'll take it this time, but this next one, I'll get 27 after that <laughs> so i'll be extra focusing on counting here starting to get a real pump now feels so good definitely coming alive let's see what we can get now See if my counting worked today. <laughs> All my blood's going in my chest, so you can't hold me too far accountable. All right, my mather was working last time. Let's see if I can do it again. If I'm being honest, I could keep going a couple more reps after the end of each of those sets. I could probably get two or three more, but since I still have two more sets in the tank, I don't want to burn myself out. On my last set, if I have more in the tank, then I'll definitely just squeeze it for everything it's got. And I'll do that in a couple ways. But let's see if I can get one more rock solid set before we go to the final boss. That's better. That was closer for to fatigue. So if I didn't keep those few extras, might not have gotten it. Or it might have been a little tougher. Here we are, the final set. The long stretch. Light at the end of the tunnel. This is the most exciting one because this is where I get to solidify my new record. So 27 plus change of whatever else I can do. And then I'll do two drop sets and just let it all hang out. This is where you don't have to hold back. Of course, don't just have terrible form. <laughs> you still wanna do it to where you're still having some sort of technique. You might see me throw a little bit of, well, you'll probably see me throw a little bit of body language into the last couple just to eke it out, but I'm still focusing on my chest as much as I can. All right, here we go.
Ah, is that it? Wah, 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 wah. All right, hurry, drop set. Throw this bad boy on here. Oof. All right, one more. One more on here. Oof. 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 Baby reps. Whew. We got it. <laughs> feels good. It always feels good to get a PR. Even if it's a small one, you gotta celebrate the little victories because they'll add it up together, create big ones. In hindsight, I probably could have bumped it from 27 to 28 per set, but I'm patient. I can gradually increase with each set. I'm not sprinting to go for anything. This is just my own personal goal that makes it fun and exciting. So I'm just gonna keep up with it. Next one's gonna be 28 reps. If I keep this trend, I'll be reaching four sets of 30 about a week and a half. So this is pretty quick progress. Just gotta be consistent with it and prioritize your training. Something you can do is after you focus on your main movement, you can do some accessory movements that just help complement it. I'm not gonna show these on camera. I'll be doing some fly movements and some flat pressing. Just helps complement it. And I mean, I'm trying to get more of an overall just awesome pump and workout experience. Having a specific performance goal is just icing on the cake. Makes it more exciting. I could also train some triceps, which helps with pushing power to train all the links in your chain that you're using for that specific goal. So use these principles into whatever goal that you're working towards. And I promise you're gonna make results. If you give it honest effort, consistent, and give it your best shot, your body will have no choice but to adapt. You'll be getting those gains, you'll gain strength, or whatever that you're shooting for. Besides, it's always great to start your workout off with a new PR. I mean, pfft, does it start much better than that? I don't know. So I'm gonna continue my workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found some value of it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if there's any principles that I forgot that have really helped you in your journey of getting fit, drop them in the comments below. I love to hear your guys' thoughts. Your guys' feedback is great. I love it. Thank you so much. I just want this channel to be a community of camaraderie, of hypertrophy training, of all of us fitness lovers, people trying to better ourselves and help bring each other up at the same time. It's just perfect dynamic. Thank you guys for watching. There's a lot more good stuff coming your ways. So as always, don't forget to tune in for more sale builds.